What is up everybody welcome back to my channel mystic watch and today we got a brand new video for you We're gonna be going over some pretty cool leaks that came out uh, Not I wouldn't say leaks, they're scans So we're gonna be going over the scans and the rough translation of those scans and then when the full translation comes out I'll make another video so at least you guys have an idea of what's coming up So this is this week's V jump magazine and we got four uh, Four pictures in a sense and it is thanks to uh, Ayataka0717 uh, on Twitter. So thank you for the pictures. So we have... Let's start from the beginning, right? Load. Why, why are you gonna freeze on me like that? Okay. So... We have one. And I'll just like tell you guys what I see really quickly, right? So this is one. This is two. So if you take a look at this right here, I'll tell you right now, this Sage Mode Naruto right here on the bottom is one that can awaken to six stars and it'll be a free one from what it seems like that will be given out for anniversary or something like that. You got three. This is page three, not three. Uh, three refers to the event. And then you got four as well, which is down here. So we're we going over every single one little by little. And there's also some, uh, if you guys want to learn more about some leaks, like about the sync skills and more about the PvP mode, which I'm going to be going over slightly over here, I'm going to be making a completely new video going completely in detail about sync skills and stuff like that and what you can expect. So, this is just going to be for the scan, and then tomorrow I'll probably have a video up for the uh, sync skills and stuff like that. Okay, so, now if we go here... And what we're gonna do real quickly, just gonna boom, oh, boom, boom, okay. Okay, so event one, thank you, Anton Labs, for the translation. August will have two Blazing Fests, that's the first thing. So, you know, normally how we get a Blazing Fest every single month, there's going to be a we don't know too much about it, it's just that all we know there's going to be two Blazing Fests. Whether they're going to split them up and do some units on one, some units on another, or have uh, all the units available on each one, but just the exclusive units available. Like, for example, the according to Nordax Blazing, the potential uh, Blazing Fest unit could be Sage of Six Pats Naruto, right? And then the other one, you know, likely would be the you know, Rinnegan, Sasuke, but there's no, like, if you look at the Jutsu list that he provides, the Jutsu that, you know, you're comparing is, like, one of them is, like, a giant-tailed beast bomb type thing that Naruto uses or whatever, and the other one is uh, Perfect Susano, which, if you compare it to the Naruto Storm games, is actually, uh, goes to Edo, Edo Tensei Madara. So, it's going to be kind of weird because we don't know who the... We know like one is pretty much going to be Naruto, but it makes sense for the other one to be Sasuke, but nothing nothing is confirmed. But those two are most likely going to be the units. So, there's one. Event two, if we go to the next section. This is what I was talking about. Login bonus where you can get multiple of the Sage mode Naruto in the scan. He's referring to this one right here. It looks completely different than the one current than the current summonable one that we have, right? So this is most likely not going to be the Sage Mode Naruto that is currently out, and it will be a completely new Sage Mode Naruto that'll have its own, you know, whatever. It'll do whatever it can. Let's go check out Event Three simultaneously. Limited time Granny Cat Shop lineup has been changed for a limited time. Okay, too many limiteds. So, if you guys played back when we had, what was it, Team Minato banner, when Obito, Rin, and Kakashi came out together in that one banner, we had the Granny Cat Shop where you could buy units. And, let's see if I can just, uh, that actually does nothing. So, on the right hand side of the page, if we are just looking at, let's see. Can I open this in a new, uh, I guess not. 
Okay. Uh, zoomed in a little bit. But on the right hand side where you can see Naruto rank 80, whatever, uh, you see on the, the four units that they show us is Takasasuke, uh, what is that one? That Kakashi, Kamui Kakashi, the Reikage, Yamato, and that's a heart unit down there with a the yellow hair. It could, it looks like Tamari. And then on top of that, you have this Sage Mode Naruto and this Takasasuke right here. So if we go back and take a look what that actually is, it says, you can see kind of a preview, not sure how accurate the preview is. The top characters will be Sage Mode Naruto and Takasasuke. So maybe there's going to be a limited amount of each character that you can get, but there's going to be a higher amount for these two, or maybe they'll cost less or something like that, you know? So pretty much what he was referring to by not sure how accurate the preview is, is just because usually these things are photoshopped together and they don't necessarily correlate with what we get in game. Like the, before we got Ninja Road, there was a scan where we had the shop and the shop offered things in the scan that weren't actually in the game when the mode came out. So just be careful. Now what you see here might not be exactly what we get, but that's for the most part. And then the final thing is, of course, right here we have Ninja World Battle Arena, a place where you fight against other players in real time. So if you guys don't know what real time is, Phantom Castle is technically PvP, but you are fighting AI controlled teams. So the teams belong to real people, but uh, you're not actually fighting those people live. Real time is, you know, just what it suggests. You're actually fighting other people. And you can see it right here where, uh, let me see if I can try zooming in again. Come on. Well, pretty much, if this thing wants to load. I don't know why it's doing this. I gotta exit out of my League of Legends real quick. Okay, okay, okay. This thing's lagging. Okay, my bad, my bad. So, you can see right here, in real time, if you take a look at the little picture of the game mode, there's a couple of different buttons. You should be able to check your rank and things like that. And on top of that, you know, you can see the Naruto with the Sasuke kind of clashing in there. That's most likely the team. Like, you know, the Naruto is your team, for example, and the Sasuke could be the opponent team that you're going to be placing, playing against. So that's kind of what I want to show. And now someone else also had a rough translation of the entire post. So, so we're going to go through this and compare it with what we already know. And that'll kind of be it. Thanks for everyone for celebrating the Naruto Blazing One Year Anniversary event super login bonus. Uh, bonus campaign login every day to get rewards. In addition, strengthen with another return of Ninja Road. Continue to earn more abilities. Um, and then, you know, this is referring to the, this Naruto is referring to the login bonus, you know, Ri Ryo, Pearls, Ramen, login every day to get rewards. And that Naruto being one of the rewards as well. Now, if we go here, one year anniversary mobile game Naruto, the excitement, yada, 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 yada. Blazing Fest being held pre-festival, August limited edition, pre-festival for August only, Blazing Fest being held to get a stronger character. It actually doesn't talk about the two Blazing Fest here, but there's a couple, like, every other translation says so otherwise. And like I said, this is a rough translation, so I wanted to think, uh, who, who did this rough translation? It was done by Mr. Greats, so thank you, Mr. Greats. Okay, going back. So, let's see, let's, let's go check out this one first. Limited cat hideout retreat opens. So this is the same thing, earn characters, child of prophecy Naruto, and then the world within a kaleidoscope Sasuke. So that, that one isn't really, really much, but this is what, okay. New battle mode, Ninja World Clash appears. New game mode coming very soon, battle against rivals in the heat of battle, let's fight against our rivals. So for the most part, it, there was nothing really new written here, but I just wanted to show you guys different translations. The biggest thing that I'm excited about, well, actually everything in here is really cool. So we got, if you know, you kind of just were paying attention throughout the entire video, the biggest things or everything summarized is we are getting two Blazing Fests, right? How that's going to happen, we don't know. If they're going to come out exactly the same, they're going to be 
Like, if you guys know Dokkan, how they had the Super Saiyan 4s on two separate banners. Maybe something like that, right? And they'll split up the OP units across them. So, I wouldn't mind that at all, to be honest. It makes the, the characters feel a little bit more exclusive because everyone and their mother has, like, 99 luck Blazing Fest units. Like, even free-to-play players have, like, max ability Blazing Fest units. So, I wouldn't mind having a little bit more exclusivity to it. Other than that, the second part is the login bonuses. We're just going to get a lot of login stuff. Pearls, Naruto's, the Sage Mo Naruto that awakens to 6-star. The next thing is... Uh, the Granny Chio Cat Shop returns. The way we get the points for this is hasn't been made clear. The coins to buy the characters with. But if it's anything like the last one, you do a multi summon, you do a single summon, you get a certain amount of currency that you can use to buy these units. So if you're going big, at least expect to be able to get something, you know? And the final thing is the new game mode in real time. That is the key word. So you're going to be playing against real people. And the, the, this is kind of funky because I think the way it's going to work is that it's only going to be open for a limited amount of time. Maybe like certain hours of the day, certain days of the week, similar to how the raids are open. Just because, you know, if you're, you're playing against real-time people, there's got to be people playing. That's the biggest part. So, if they open it up in small windows where people can play, I'd have no problem against it. But those are kind of the big things. So tomorrow I'll be going over the remaining leaks, or I'll be actually going over the leaks, this is just a scan. So when this full translation comes out, I'll quickly go over that as well. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Peace out.